<laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. And is it, is it like an industrial mixer? Like, it is, is it? It is like uh, m yes, but at the same time, a louder sounding no. Like, it is just a really expensive mixer. Wait, hold up. I don't know what they're doing right now. I'm trying to see if. Okay, so he's. I guess gonna go possessed. Okay, I'm trying to see if Tweety ever uh, shows us a secret character of his. Maybe <laughs> they're getting rowdy in the chat with the Hobarts. <laughs> yeah. So okay, I'm glad you clear. So Hobart is not just a slang term for just mix city or fifty fifty. No. It's, it's actually smoke related to. Yeah, it's it's for smoke because obviously he's a robot. Uh huh. So and he's the mixing robot. Gotcha. So he is. In turn, he then becomes the most expensive mixing robot on the market, which is also known as the Hobart. <laughs> gotcha, okay, it makes sense now. And you're right, we have not seen a Hobart yet. Smeej <laughs> taking early command of this matchup. Forward three into the staggered back one. Tweety not dealing with it, going with a throw. And I totally keep a picture of it on, like, on stream, just in case. Like, I just click a button and it's there. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> but somebody has to pick smoke before uh, before that happens. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's not just gonna be there. Well, Samij, you know, he does have a smoke. He does. And if I'm not mistaken, Tweety says that smoke actually beats possessed. I have heard this. So, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. If we Samij doesn't lose, yeah. We'll have to find out, man. Oh, the NJP for Tweety has been on point with all those NJPs. Okay, patience by Tweety. Samij yeah, still trying to open them up. Now, these boys have been Ooh. grinding this matchup. Both of them having such an issue getting any damage. NJP again by Tweety. 23%. One more combo from him is going to secure the round. Ooh. I just found out that this is a Conquest Week 3 top 4 run back. Ooh. Going back in time. Oh, yeah. Oh. Anti air ball run for 27. Oh, meterless. He does have two bars. He can. This is a, both of them have two bars. Now that nope. hits oh, so the whip punish. That was that was so smooth the way that happened. Wow. I will say I'm a little surprised Samij didn't do better at NEC. Um, yeah, it, it it started to get to the point, man, where there was a lot of people that. I agree with you, and then at the same time, I'm like, there was every everybody just kind of funneled, and like all the good players that we watch, and all the players that we've known to watch, like you had, you had King, who we all know, oh, but yeah. you know, he's kind of been away, and then you had Sonic, Scar, Tweety, Silveride, Hayate. Hayate, Destroyer, like all those guys, and it, it unfortunately, man, you know, somebody's got to win. And, Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? It, it, it does. I agree with you, though, man. Like, it sucks to see your, you know, one of your favorites go. Back to corner switch. Very nice into the throw. And Silver Eye was there. I mean, <laughs> I will. It was. It, it was a stat tournament. There were some very good players there. I have a feeling Kit is going to be the exact same way. I think it's going to be even worse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I could, yeah, I could agree. I mean, fun fact, NEC was the first MKX major ever that a CR member has not competed in MKX. Really? Really. Yeah, nobody was there. Nope. But KIT, different story. Yeah, uh, I was actually supposed to pick up Bio, but he's coming on Thursday, and I won't be there till Friday, so... Oh well. Tweety is up around right now. 
going in with these throws. The old Kenshi mix up, man. Run up, throw. Tweety already up 36% just in throws in this round. And another 40%. One more. Oh my god. He did not convert, but it just one wow. down. Yeah. And Tweety's in the ball game. Smeeze. Mm. It That would have been like 10 times more hype if he actually converted off of that teleport. Pay your respect. Nonetheless, Tweety is on the board. You're correct. They're tied 1 1, I believe. A new king. Yep. This is going to be a barn burner. I'd like to see a match 5. I'll be honest with you. We haven't had the pleasure. We've had a couple match 4s, but no match 5s. No, we haven't, have we? Nope. Wow, that is a very good point. <laughs> we need that hype. But these two, the history they have, and this is a run back you said from like week three. three? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, week three. Oh, Tweety caught. He did trade with a down one there. It's, it's fun. Very nice ball roll. Ooh, the, the forward four into an EX fade, which does have armor on it. Totally got him on the other side for a full combo. Nice down two from Tweety, not taking the mix. And a jump in kick to compete with that. Wow. This is a war. Round two, fight. There it is. That thing does so much damage to It does, man. It's ridiculous, to be honest. The fact that it's plus and it hits everywhere, it's ridiculous. Oh, that, the that is one. broken. The swag combos right now, man. The run-unders, the down one, and to, it, it's nuts. Okay, keeps himself away, builds a little bit of bar with that. And Tweety is just kind of a sitting duck right now. Breaks the armor with the forward one, too. And that is going to secure the match. Smeege up 2-1. Melina wins. All right, so just going through some stats that I've found so far. Pay your so Smeege is still in second place, obviously, for the points. There is a he has won Conquest team. Series twice. He's won Combat Cup once, right? Um, Smeege has won two Combat Cups, two. Uh, one in Sonic's absence, and then he beat and Sonic in Week Sonic. 6. Yep. You're right, okay. Tweety is currently ranked 7th in points. His highest finish in a Conquest is 2nd place during Week 5. Mm. That's some good stuff there, man. You're doing your homework here. Well, as much as I'd like to take all the credit, it's really all Stokes behind the scenes, like, whispering into my ear. But I'm going to take a little bit of credit just for saying it. <laughs> and he, he did break the armor right there. Forward 1-2 breaks that slow armor from Kenshi. Whoops. Tweety the jump back. 4-3, whiff punish. 38%. One more combo from either one of these two could change this entire matchup. That is plus. What a grab. They are neck and neck. Both of them scared to commit to anything. All these lows. Oh, Samish could have rolled that. And he did not. Tweety trying to tie this thing up, and you know what? Tie it up, man. Let's go to match five. Let's have a match five, so I can have a legitimate heart attack on stream. <laughs> In his ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> it's a glorious ugly, ugly Christmas sweater. Ooh, the EX fade out of... Okay, I dig that. You can armor if you feel the mix is coming. He knows better than to try and challenge that. Oh, got caught. Just throwing the side. 
Nobody is grabbing him out of that well. And Samij is on his heels. It's oh, he did it! <laughs> wow, the standing three. If it would have been pre-patched, the armor would have broken. He would have went hard knockdown, but... Thing has two hits. You gotta hit him three times before he hits you. Which is crazy! Yeah. But you know what, man? I'm a defensive style player. And it was always a thing for me with this game, despite my love for MKX and MK in general. It, it really, like, being a defensive style player, it was hard to keep playing this game because it was it was just so... It, wake it, up armor. Wake up armor into combo. Yeah, or, or, <laughs> or like, oh, my offense, I'm like a little bit negative, let me frame trap you and just armor my turn back. So it was really hard to, like, find my groove and stuff, but... I like this game in its current meta now. I wish the way it is now, it, it would have came out that way. And we are in a game five, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Samij burned the bar for that EX bait and got caught by Tweety's teleport. 40%. This is such a great start for Tweety. And if he plays his cards right, he can, he can remain in Samij's head and... and it's just gonna take one read. Oh, he tried to go at the NJP and it just too late. Samish that a version though. Wow. Very nice poke check by Tweety. And the NJP, we've seen he that work block this, so that's much. Death. Wow. Tweety on My set Thanks, point. Those are patience. Open him up with a 2-1 roll. Or 2-1 fade, I'm sorry. And this time, despite Tweety having three bars, he does not have the health lead. It'll be up to him if he chooses to use those bars. And the more the more health kind of evens out, he may actually burn those two. Oh! Nice by Samij. He's been waiting for that. Guaranteed. My God. It didn't convert. Oh! The fastest X-rays in the oh, game. No! And Tweety, this won't have the damage. Samish will have one more shot. Very nice, but the teleport. Tweety going to grand finals. Wow. Oh my goodness. The reeds on top of reeds. Mm. Mm mm. There's nothing I can really say to that. Like, that was just splendid play, actually, by both of them. Like, but 